Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Roseanne's co-star has jaw-dropping message for her 24 DRS after losing his job. Although Roseanne Barr apologized for her offensive tweet, the number one sitcom in America is now off the air. As you all know by now, almost immediately after the tweet, ABC Entertainment President Channing Dungey made the decision to pull the plug on the show, calling the tweets abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values. There is clearly a double standard here. ABC slash Disney clearly has an agenda and when Roseanne apologized this should have been the end of it since to date no one has ever apologized to President Trump, or us, his supporters for all the nasty and evil things that have been said about him, and us. Since it's a known fact that you get to know a person's character best when they are put to the test, although most of her younger co-stars came out immediately against Roseanne, her most important co-star, John Goodman, who is beyond a doubt the best actor on the show, decided to remain silent on the mess. According to Fox News Goodman said in an interview, I'd rather say nothing than to cause more trouble, I don't know anything about it. I don't read it. This followed a very gracious tweet by Barr. I just wish ABC had not thrown two of the greatest actors in the world out with me Laurie and John. I'm so sick over this they will never have better character actors on their network. Roseanne Barr, at their Al Roseanne, May 31, 2018. Roseanne continued by apologizing to those who had lost their jobs because of her comment. That included John Goodman and Laurie Metcalf, as she also condemned cast members who threw her under the bus. Funny how the ones who condemned her, without naming names are the ones who haven't been heard up since the last time Roseanne was on the air back in 1997, except for Sarah Gilbert who was last seen on a couple of episodes on the largely popular far-left TV show The Big Bang Theory years ago. Roseanne added, I'm not a racist. I never was and I never will be," she wrote Wednesday. One stupid joke in a lifetime of fighting for civil rights for all minorities, against networks, studios, at the expense of my nervous system slash family slash wealth will never be taken from me. This is what Hollywood agrees with, and this list is tame since it's only from the Oscars. President Donald Trump was the primary target for leftist Hollywood celebrities during the Oscars, as he, his family, or his administration was mentioned negatively 15 times during the ceremony. Show host Jimmy Kimmel noted the Oscars broadcast was being watched by more than 225 countries that now hate us, thanks to Trump. Kimmel thanked Trump for bringing Hollywood together, remember last year when it seemed like the Oscars were racist? He asked. That's gone, thanks to him. Kimmel welcomed Isabelle Huppert, a French actress who was nominated for Best Actress, I'm glad Homeland Security let you in tonight. I really am. He joked. Kimmel referred to Trump's calling actress Meryl Streep overrated after her anti-Trump speech during the Golden Globe and led the audience in a standing ovation for the actress. Nice dress, by the way. Is that an Ivanka? Kimmel asked Streep. Kimmel joked that Donald Trump tweets on the toilet. Some of you will get to come up on this stage tonight and give a speech that the President of the United States will tweet about in all caps during his 5 a.m. bowel movement tomorrow, he told the actors. And I think that's pretty darn excellent if you ask me." Kimmel referred to Trump's repeated attacks on fake news and added a joke about Trump's fake tan, if there's anyone here from CNN, or the LA Times or New York Times, if you work for anything with the word Times in it, even Medieval Times, I'd like to ask you to leave the building right now," he said. We have no tolerance for fake news. Fake tans, we love. And now, for something that is very rare nowadays, a president who believes in both arts and sciences, Kimmel joked as he introduced Academy President Cheryl Boone Isaacs. Kimmel's stunts included live tweeting to Trump twice during the Oscars. You up? He asked, as it was clear that Trump had not tweeted yet. He also tweeted the hashtag hashtag Merrill says hi to the president. We're so sorry about what happened in Sweden last week, Kimmel said, joking about Trump's mention of attacks in the country. Mexican actor Gail Garcia Bernal criticized Trump's promise to build a wall. As a Mexican, as a Latin American, as a migrant worker, as a human being, I am against any form of wall that wants to separate us," he said. Kimmel joked that Dr. Strange was also nominated as Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, making fun of Trump's pick of Dr. Ben Carson to lead that agency. Academy President Cheryl Boone Isaac saluted to Trump's campaign promise to secure the borders, tonight is proof that art has no borders, art has no single language, and art does not belong to a single faith, she said. Iranian filmmaker Asghar Farhadi protested Donald Trump's travel ban by not attending the Oscars. 
my absence is out of respect for the people of my country and those of the other six nations who have been disrespected by the inhumane law that bans entry of immigrants to the U.S., he said in a statement that was read during the ceremony. Barry Jenkins, the director of the film Moonlight, which, eventually, won Best Picture, promised to help people suffering during Trump's presidency, all you people out there who feel like there's no mirror for you, that your life is not reflected, the Academy has your back, the ACLU has your back, we have your back, and for the next four years, we will not leave you alone. We will not forget you, he said. Now what should Roseanne do? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.